from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. As the House meets today for what is expected to be a normal session, National Security Minister James is downplaying speculation that there's going to be an early election, prompted by a Defense Force memo directing departments to prepare for that possibility by providing a list of officers who would vote in an advance poll by tomorrow. I won't read too deeply into that, as I said before. So this is a normal occurrence, and I don't think you should be reading too deeply into that either. Uh, Only one person will determine the date of the election, and uh, he hasn't yet done so. That one person is the prime minister, and he has not announced any date for the next elections, which are due by May next year. Fire investigators dealing with another blaze here in the capital. This one has left a man dead. A two-story building on 7th Terrace in Fritz Lane caught fire early yesterday morning. Four businesses at the bottom and a church at the top affected the body of a man found in the burned-out building. His ID has not been released as yet. Police will need an autopsy to determine how he died. Meantime, investigations continue into the cause of that Sunday fire on Jenny Street that damaged or destroyed a number of buildings, and Fire Chief Morris is now telling the media that, contrary to speculation, water was never an issue in dealing with that blaze. He says there was a pressure issue at some point, but water was always available. Some of the affected people are questioning the response to that fire. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Works Minister Bannister not backing down on the government's position on tearing down those new homes being built at the farm Shantytown at Abaco. The minister telling the media they're prepared to do what they have to on Shantytowns. Still no ruling from Supreme Court Justice Grant Thompson on the injunction that remains in place. The coronavirus numbers for Monday are in, and the decrease in cases continues. 26 confirmed spread over five islands, 19 of them in the capital, 51 persons in hospital with four in the ICU. There was another confirmed death, a New Providence man, that takes the death toll to 211 now, with others pending. Infectious disease expert Dr. Nakia Forbes says warm weather is to blame for the bacteria that led to the recent spate of conch poisoning in the country, not the sanitary practices of vendors. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, partly sunny and warm. Highs in the mid-80s again, 86 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Next high is a low around 11 this morning, next high about 5 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Looking for a home, lot, or condo? Then pick up a copy of the Tribune's Home Buyer's Guide. Every Monday, your number one source for homes, condos, lots, and home care needs. Open the door to your dream home. Plumbers, electricians, tilers, and contractors, it's the perfect place to advertise your business. Call us today at 502-2356 to book your space in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, the Tribune, the people's newspaper. Wednesday's World News headlines, the death toll from that Mexico train accident is now 24, more than 70 injured. Officials there say they're not sure what led to the incident, and they're calling in international experts to try and figure it out. The deadly coronavirus spread continues in India. More than 3,600 confirmed dead there from the virus for Wednesday. The government is scrambling to get the situation under control with help from other countries. Foreign ministers from the G7 countries wrapping up their meeting in London today. They've discussed a number of issues, including China, at the first face-to-face talk since the corona pandemic hit. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 486, SO 488, Rubus $4.93 per gallon in the capital, no changes. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Nice award for tennis player Sidney Clark, now in college in the U.S. Read about that. 
find out how some countries are preparing their athletes for the upcoming Olympic Games in Tokyo. Find out why one tennis player is opting not to travel with our women's national tennis team. Both Buddy Heel and DeAndre Aiden in action last night in the NBA. Both were winners. Aiden and the Suns won at Cleveland in overtime. He had 18-8. and eight. Heel had 18 points and a win over Oklahoma City. And get the latest on Major League Baseball also. Jazz Chisholm still on the injured list for the Marlins. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.